We're going to give you more knowledge on who we are and what are we about. Okay? So, as you said, we are the fighting organization. That's how you can put NFF in one sentence. Let's say you just have a script. Or you, yeah, you've written something, but it has never been shown anyway. That's why we come in. We develop you so that your film can be well developed and produced properly. So we develop fiction, documentaries, short animation, TV, etc. There's a lot. There's work series as well that is not mentioned there. Okay. And then we've got for production funding. That is anything that is here can go to uh, production. Those are the pillars for production. We've got marketing and distribution. So when your, your film is done, it's been produced, everything is sealed now. We help you market your market and distribute your film. So you would come to us and say, here's the DVD, I'm done with this. Can you guys help me to market? I want to take my film to the cinema, for instance. Or I want to take it to, to film festivals. You come in for that. You ask us, okay? Uh, I spoke about education and training as well. Uh, in the marketing and distribution, we also have marketing, markets and fair, markets and festivals attendance. So what is that? Let's say you want to go to Cannes. We've got a film that is done already. You want to go to um, the Cannes film, film Festival. You call us, you tell us that I've been invited. You must first invite, well, get invited by the festival to come to the festival. Because you cannot just come say, I want to go to the Double Film Festival and yet you are not invited. And yet uh, you've got nothing to go show there. So we help you if you've got all the, the proper documents. Next slide, please. The tier approach. All our applications are divided into tiers. Why? Because you cannot be just with the person who's um, fully qualified and yet when you're the first timer in the industry. So we divide our applications according to the tiers so that everybody is being judged properly according to their knowledge and according to their experience. So the tier three is your new entrance in the industry. We talk about people who are bigger just. Others are fresh from school, others are writers, others are created like that, are creative like that. We call them the tier threes. So if you go to the NFF application, you will see all these different tiers. We do not tier you when you apply, you tier yourself. Why? We're avoiding that to say, uh, Tandegile said I'm a tier two, and yet I'm a tier one or a tier three. So you tier yourself accordingly. Tier two, as you can see, it's one to two theoretically released feature films. Not only feature films though, guys. Anything that has been released. Documentaries, two to three shorts as well, or commercials. So this must be shown somewhere. If it's not on theater, if it, uh, it should be shown maybe on the festival, or others in the web series on your, uh, what is this? Your YouTube, or you see others, they put their films in all those platforms. Those people are also eligible to apply. Next slide, sir. Wait. Yes. 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 Uh, in terms of uh, funding, yeah. how much is allocated to tier one? I will show you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hold, on to, hold on to that thought, Nick. So, um, this is the value chain. As I was telling you, you first develop, you pre produce, you produce, you post produce. You distribute and you exhibit. But this is how the, the, the film thing works when you have a project. This is how it starts and this is, that's where it begins on your exhibition. Oh, there's even archiving. Yeah, archiving is also not there. Okay. So we've got different funding caps. Why are we doing that? We're doing that to ensure that this funding is, distribu it is, is distributed as widely as possible. Funding has been kept according to the various types of funding. So the funding for development, let's say for feature, is different from your documentary. And yes, it's both development. But the monies are not the same because those are two different projects. That, so the fund, our uh, funding differ as per category. Next. So these are the monies you, you were asking about. This can be found on the booklet that you have. Please make sure you get the booklet. This can be found on the booklet that you have, can be found on the NFF website, can be found on the policies of any, or like any other NFF document that you come across because this is important for you to know that when you apply, this is the maximum. The cap means this is the maximum we can give you. Let's say your project is more than your feature, your fiction feature is 250,000 for instance. And you see here, we're saying 200,000, right? But your budget says 250. It means NFF can only give you this 200, 
The 50,000, you will have to go outsource it yourself somewhere else in other organizations. This is the maximum we can give you. Others even request less amount of money. So it's all up to you on how you do your budget and what uh, will make your uh, film a success. How much would that be? So these are the caps for development as for different categories. Next slide. And these are the different caps for your production as per tiers. Remember uh, tier three, what did I say tier three is? Can someone remind me? Yes, uh, at the back with a clear. Okay, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, the slide just we just saw now. What was it about? Can someone tell me? What? The slide we just saw now before this one. Yes, sir. Funding caps. For? Funding caps. For? For mm -hmm. development. Um, no. <laughs> so these are for production. Same story, if you go on production, these are the maximum caps. But on production, guys, you need to take note, for development, there's something I did not tell you for development. Anybody can apply for development. You don't need to have a company to apply for development funding. You can do it on your own as a sole applicant. But you will need to have your personal tax credit certificate to access that funding. Where else, with the production funding, you need to have a company, you need to have Company tax clearance or company document, uh, your company BE. Remember, for production, you, you can't fly solo when you're going, to, you're going on production, right? So we're going to need all those documents. So a sole applicant cannot just apply for production. Take note of that. Those are the requirements that are going to be needed for you when you apply. You see all those on your online application. Next slide, sir. And this is for post-production. After you've done production, then you do post-production. It's your choice. Others don't even go on post-production. They just leave it in production. These are the cats as well. This is the archive Anobuso was talking about. 250,000 max. Next slide. Marketing and distribution. Remember we spoke about marketing and distribution and we say... And what is it about? Thank you. So, take note of the, remember the marketing, markets and festival attendance. When I said when you're done, you want to take your project, your, your product somewhere else, or this international or national platforms, and I spoke about the festivals. So these are the caps for festivals. If you're going to a national film festival, like this festival that is happening now, somebody from Jobe who wants to come here will be given this money, the 15,000, to come to this festival. If you want to come to Durban Film Festival, that's the money we're gonna give you. But if you wanna to go to France, the Cannes International Film Festival, you get to uh, 29,000, okay? okay? Remember, you need to be invited by the festival, so you will need to apply to the festival. We cannot apply for you, you will need to, Apply yourself to the festival, then the festival will give you a letter. You give the NFF the letter, NFF gives you the funding for you to go to that market, okay? Next slide. And here it's uh, training. We've got national bursaries, international bursaries, training. Remember guys, with the national bursary, this is a film funding, right? Anything that's behind the scenes, but you don't find acting, unfortunately. If you want to go study acting, we, don't, we can't come in, we can't join you. But if you want to do anything that's behind the scenes, then we come in. We give you a 100% tuition fee for that. For international, if you want to go study New York Film Academy, you've been accepted, we give you that much, but you must have a qualification before going there. You cannot want to go and do a diploma at the international institution.